Why is it that children who can't really walk on their own, maybe not, not even talk yet, can operate one of these, can punch the screen to move things? The Senate Judiciary Committee held a hearing on Tuesday to learn how to better protect children from the dangers of the Internet. It is addictive. We know that. And we also know that it's threatening. And we're going to hear some stories today, tales of terrible results. Kristen Bride recalled her son's tragedy. She explained how proud she was of her son after his first night on the job making pizzas. In so many ways, it was a wonderful night and we were looking forward to summer. The next morning, I woke to the complete shock and horror that Carson had hung himself in our garage while we slept. In the weeks that followed, we learned that Carson had been viciously cyberbullied by his Snapchat friends, his high school classmates who were using the anonymous apps YOLO and LMK on Snapchat to hide their identities. She said her son's last search on his phone was for hacks to find out the identities of his abusers. YOLO's own policy stated that they would monitor for cyberbullying and reveal the identities of those who do so. I reached out to YOLO on four separate occasions in the months following Carson's death, letting them know what happened to my son and asking them to follow their own policies. I was ignored all four times. She then filed a class action lawsuit against Snap Inc., YOLO, and LMK. Snap Inc. suspended the anonymous apps from their platforms after she filed her lawsuit. Michelle DeLon is the president and CEO of the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, or NCMEC. Last year, NCMEC Cyber Tip Line received over 32 million reports. These reports contained over 88 million images and videos and other content related to child sexual exploitation. And to put these numbers into perspective, we're averaging 80,000 new reports each day. She explained that there is no legal recourse for a rape victim if a tech company knowingly distributes abusive imagery of the victim. And she called on Congress to intervene. Senator Lindsey Graham explained that tech companies are protected by Section 230. It shields online platforms like Google and Meta from liability for content published by third parties or their users. If we change Section 230 to allow more consumer pushback, would that be a step in the right direction? Everybody nodded. If we pass the Online Child Protection Act and the Earn It Act, would that be a step in the right direction? Everybody nodded. Mr. Chairman, we know what to do. Let's just go do it. The Supreme Court is now weighing the possibility of striking down some of the protections provided in Section 230. Jason Perry, NTD News.